leg day. Oh my God, leg day always gives me the most jitters before the workout and the satisfaction after the workout. There's nothing like working legs. Comment below a leg emoji if you know what I'm talking about. Um, so now I'm just gonna jog on the spot a little bit. I'm gonna go outside where it's nice and cold and there's fresh air waiting for me for a jog or a walk or if I'm really feeling up for it, a run. And as I am getting ready for my outdoor jog, walk, run, I have Vuju playing in the background so I can entertain myself and also catch up on what some of the YouTubers are doing that I'm following. Why is it gotta be so complicated? Maybe this love thing's overrated. My feet in the sand, my face in my hands. I know it's my fault cause I never make plans. And now you're telling me you love me and she don't even know me. I'm trying to hang, but if you fall in the slow, me, yeah. Cause I've been thinking lately if I take. done a nice walk slash jog and now I'm going to stretch it out a little bit this is my typical daily routine if I don't have enough time in the morning to stretch I'll do it sometime in the evening my aim is to do yoga for like four times a week 20 minutes at a time would be great sometimes if I skip a day or two and I'm feeling like I want to really have a good session. I'll do uh, like a 40 minute yoga session. I can't believe I'm saying this because a few years ago I was doing like 90 minute yoga flows and that was a great time. But now I'm in a different period of my life where it just doesn't speak to me anymore. And it's not bad and it's not good. It's just different, that's all it is. And different I will enjoy. Sometimes I put on a podcast um, as I am doing some stretching and other times I put on some meditative music. Today I'm feeling a hybrid, so do a combination of both. A man who asks for direction Coffee shows up potential And so are these inner city bars that don't stage band I'm trying to find some affection I sound like Charlton Heston After mixing poisons Poured straight down the hatch My body's ready For the feds to come dissect me when they've had their way, I hope I'm laid to rest Dressed in my dressing gown I just want someone to hold me Because someone just told me That the best bars in town are closing down I think I'm going to follow along a YouTube video now. Just a, a short one. Maybe 15 minutes would be really, really good. Summer nights in Melbourne town When my phone switched on All the buildings are closed up Tags on the walls as the doors are Put it over and you to stay that way forever. I was chatting with my friend and he was telling me about uh, how in his life he has a common theme around social anxiety. He has social anxiety. 
Um, and I told them to tell me a little bit more about that. And it's about just getting rejected and wanting the other people, wanting the other person to like you. And so I said, well, why don't you just practice getting rejected? And that, that brought me back to um, something that I read or something that I listened to quite a few years ago. And I call it the rejection game. So the whole point is for the next 10 days, this is a 10 day challenge, for the next 10 days, you're going to do a minimum of one thing every single day. But try to do as much as you can in, in every day. A minimum of one thing every single day that will get you rejected. You want to aim to get rejected. So that means putting yourself out there. That means being really vulnerable. That means asking that person out. That means doing something silly. And sometimes, sometimes a little bit strange and outrageous. And you might start judging yourself in your head. But hey, this is a rejection game. Let's play the game. This makes your life so expansive and, and so playful. Like what do you have, what could you gain from aiming to be rejected. I don't think you can fail at this game because you either win and you get rejected, which is what you are aiming for, or you actually get the thing that you're asking for. So here are some suggestions that you can do. Go up to the store, whatever you're buying, maybe it's a cup of coffee, maybe it's an electronic, and say to the cashier, can I get a 10% discount? Um, you just might get a 10% discount or you get rejected, which you win. Um, another one, uh, going up to a stranger and saying, can I touch that fur coat? It looks so, so comfy. Or going to your neighbor, knocking on their door and saying, can we be friends? And for me, I don't know if I want to put this on YouTube because I don't know if this person's going to end up watching this. Um, we'll see. I'm going to tell this person I think they're gorgeous. I'm going to tell that person I think they're gorgeous and do you want to go out? I don't really know this person very well, but my goal is to get rejected. So let's get rejected. He'll say, uh, no, and I'll say, okay, thank you, come again. Um, can't think of any more, oh, going to a stranger in the parking lot, uh, up to their car, and ask if you can get a ride with them to the other, to the other block, to the, ne to the next block. Try some of those. I want to hear what you do in the comments below or like any suggestions. Let's help each other out. Let's help each other get rejected. It's going to be so fun and our comfort zone is going to grow and grow and grow and grow. It's going to feel so scary and so exciting. This is what keeps life spicy and on your toes. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that for the next 10 days. I want to see you guys do it. Hashtag the rejection game. Tag at the fitty on Instagram or Facebook or I mean you can make a YouTube video out of it. Kudos to you. I would love to see it. Go ahead and get rejected my friends.